Gentlemen, welcome back to another video. My name is Stryker. My name is Luba. Now in this video, we're gonna tell you some ways that you can meet Ukrainian women without using a matchmaker. Now obviously, we are matchmakers, uh, but some guys just don't want to use matchmakers for whatever reason. Or they wanna just uh, meet Ukrainians and see like if this, this is, what is so special about this culture? What's they wanna so navigate this landscape themselves. And that's cool. We respect all that. Everybody has their own path of how they're going to do this okay so, so we've got five ways that you can go and do this by yourself okay number one luba what is it so we decided to make it like a close circle to you and then like expand it so the first very first advice would be to use online communities uh, nowadays because of uh, a lot of ukrainian ladies move all over the europe and canada and united states absolutely everywhere if you have a telegram you should be by the way subscriber to our free community there check link but if you have a telegram you just on a on a search button you press for example ukrainians uh, in tampa ukrainians in uh, alabama ukrainians in netherlands in amsterdam ukrainians in valencia and you will find a group and you will see amount of people that will be there you will be surprised this is first place where you can just a little bit like start to see okay how many ukrainians are around you around your area in your in your place or you can of course use facebook communities mm -hmm. uh, and check the same you know you just need to put your city your state whatever and said ukrainians and you will be surprised that you will find it there we say that you need to bring like you can't just like sh like for example you find some events and you just show up there and say hey like my name is Peter, you can't do it, right? So you should bring some youth, right? What you said. You have to be useful. Bring some value to whatever group it is, right? So don't just use like these groups as some sort of dating service, right? And sort of sift your way in there and try and see what's going on. Bring some value to it. So if it's a Facebook group, and maybe it's people that are looking for some service or to make their lives a little bit easier because of course like Ukraine, you can help with advice you can yeah, help you, because yeah. you're local because yeah, yeah you're local. of course yeah so if there's if they're looking for something looking places for rent uh, maybe they want to find the best insurance company or the best bank to use or something like that give useful advice so become part of that online community and it's not that difficult to do you download the apps you look at it on your phone you check it and you you know you respond to messages and you become a useful person in that group and you need to become their friend. And to become their friend, here is a super tip for you. You speak the language. Probably it's English if you're in the United States. Maybe you speak German if you're watching us from Germany and also speak English. So you need to contact the administrator of this group and say that your name is Peter and you speak English and you don't mind. Like there's a lot of people who want to practice. Like they're learning English or they're learning German, they're learning yeah. Spanish. They need to practice. So you can be, even if you don't have any skills or you don't have any idea how can you help, your English knowledge or any other language that you know is your key, is your ticket to enter all of these online communities. This it, was... Yeah, it, it, it's actually very hard to find uh, willing people that will speak to you in another language for free. Yeah, like, so like, like <laughs> and it's always very, very appreciated. You need, to yeah. call, you need to find one person who is like administrator, who created this group, it's like easy to do, and then you will be very, very, very welcome. Second way that you can meet a Ukrainian lady would be local. Slavic shop. I use the word Slavic shop because nowadays it's very on edge. So before we were saying like Russian shop everywhere in the United, in New York, everywhere. Now it's like, it's not really Ukrainian shop. It's like European shop. I'm talking for the guys who are in the United States and in Europe as well. Every single state, every single city, every, everywhere you will find it may be called Ukrainian shop, Russian shop, it may be called like a European shop. You need to ask and find out. There would be Ukrainian food. There would be Ukrainian goods. I went to Portland and uh, my son really liked this like Ukrainian sausage. And so I decided to surprise him when I was picking up him from the camp and I would give him the sausage. So we went to the shop and I went with our client and he was first time there. He was really very, very surprised. First of all, the girl who was working at, at, at the counter was very, very cute. She just came from Ukraine and she found this temporary job, but she was working there. She was single. So we start speaking with her. He uh, was very curious about all kind of food that is there because the shop is just giant. He was able to like ask the questions. If I would not be there, he would speak with her. And 
Like you can come to the shop, you can make friends, you can ask if they have any meetups, if they have any events, you can become curious, you can drive there once a week, for example, to get something, but to get to know people that are coming there. And they will know that there is a Peter who is coming there pretty often. And so, you know, people just need to get to know you. They need to find out because maybe there would be somebody that really also will have some question and will not find out like how, to, where is like, I don't know, car, good car service in your city, but you will be helpful. We never know what can happen, but if you want to find Ukrainians, they would be in this shop. They definitely, no matter uh, where, no matter when, but Ukrainians are always trying to find their buckwheat. <laughs> they always try to find deal and they only can find buckwheat it. Buckwheat is amazing. Yeah, yes. Strike it, love it. Oh, it's, when I have it for lunch, it, 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 it's, it, it smells like, I don't know, what does it smell like? It smells like someone boiling socks with wheat. It's my favorite food <clears throat> with deal. But anyway, like this, you, I promise you, you will, like nobody, I never heard this advice from anybody, like that yeah. you need to go num to this. Number, number, we're going to talk about number four here, and these all tie in together. So it's not just about going to the shop and buying like a Ukrainian beer. So we'll tie, we'll tie this in together in a minute. Okay. So number uh, three. three is, I reckon this is probably the best one. It's your type of thing, I think, but maybe there are guys who... <laughs> So, yeah, so, okay, the, the, the next one is, and, and these all tie in together, right? So the next one is events or concerts, which are Ukrainian Band. themed or related. Yeah, Ukrainian uh, bands or singers that are doing some tour in whatever country is to go to that. Because, of course, the people that are going to that, obviously Ukrainians. Ukrainian community is going to go to that. Other things are events. So also we were saying um, earlier that, you know, look online and see what are Ukrainian Holidays are holidays because their holidays are all like really kind of and strange. it's really crazy. It's like it can be the holiday of the of the Shavank, of the shirt, you know, holiday of this, of of the flag, and people always gathering together. And you will find this event, and you always like you will be welcome when people are happy, when they having like when they celebrating something, they always welcome new members who are curious about the culture. And you may meet somebody there, and maybe not necessarily there would be the girl that you're going to date, but maybe you will make friends with some family, and they have like some sister or somebody uh, that they know and they will introduce you. I think it's great. And what strikers say about the events, about the concert. So what is happening nowadays? Because of the situation, a lot of Ukrainian bands, popular, less popular, they're traveling all over the world to collect like money, to support Ukraine, to buy drones and stuff. And so like recently, one of our clients, he went to the concert in his place, very famous uh, band like Bezob Mezhen, and it was a concert there, there. So he was even interacting with the group like a little bit on Instagram he found them there so uh, it's a great way to come and meet people and just talk and like you know I think that when people are happy when they come to some kind of a concert or event they're easier to talk because everybody say Ukrainians are cold and close and it's not easy to start talking to them but when they're dancing you know maybe they like they, they're more active it's like hey like oh good concert like good song or something I mean it's up to you because we're gonna speak about Point number four that really will help you to go to number, like to, to use yeah. number one, number two, number three. What is number four? So, and this applies actually to our clients and anyone as well the, 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 that wants to date a Ukrainian woman, is that you should really try and understand who they are in their culture because there's some reason that you wanted to date a woman from another culture. So for example, if you wanted to date a woman from Thailand, you would have to understand what makes the Thai woman tick in order to be able to date her, in order to be able to understand her psyche and what, it, um, what she's looking for in a man. The same goes for Ukraine as well. But it's also like trying to understand some of that culture, like buying some of the food, like say from the shop, you know, listening to what they're speaking about, what are their struggles, uh, what do they miss uh, because of, you know, they can't go back at home. It's about trying to understand all of these things. And then putting it all together in any one of these um, ways to meet a Ukrainian woman outside of a matchmaker. So we understand what those struggles are because you know, we've had clients for many years now. We understand the struggles when it comes to the mentality, the Western mentality, especially when it comes to dating and Ukrainian women. So we actually uh, created a course which you can get on the waitlist down below, which is a community and it's a bunch of courses as well and a bunch of weekly videos that we're putting out as well. So you can get on the waitlist for that. And because you get on the waitlist before we actually launch the project in probably about three weeks, you'll get half of the courses for free anyway. So get on the waitlist down below. But this is going to bridge the gap between your Western dating mentality and Ukrainian dating mentality. And then if you do decide to go and do any of these um, ways to meet Ukrainian women, you're already ahead of 95% of guys who want to date Ukrainian women anyway. And the fact that you're actually willing to learn and you care about their culture and their mentality and their psyche, it really does accelerate your dating options. So the next one is, uh, where can you go to meet 
Slavic woman. Okay. A little bit further. Remember, I, we said that it would yeah. be like closer online, you know, at home, and yeah. then you need to actually travel somewhere. Yeah. So this is from my former life. So the first place that I would say, if you want to meet a woman from Eastern Europe, would be Phuket, Thailand. Because all of these places we're going to list, there, there's no, like the visa restrictions are very, very, uh, well, they don't have visa restrictions. For yeah, so, so Phuket, Thailand, I'm not sure about other places, but Phuket was extremely popular. When I was there, there was, uh, everyone was speaking Russian, but I didn't meet any Ukrainians, so I'll say that. But I met a lot of Russian women when I was there, on vacation, chilling out, who knows what they do for money. Um, I don't know, but that's up to you to figure that out. Uh, the next one uh, is Egypt. When I was in Egypt, there is a hit, like all of the tourists were from, from what I saw and who I spoke to were from Ukraine. There's so, a reason for that. So uh, Egypt and Turkey, uh, to Thailand, we'll go back for a second. Like, Thailand is popular for winter, of course, because it's warm. And the reason that more Russians there than Ukrainians, because uh, before the war, like everybody was traveling to Egypt and Turkey, it was so much easier. There is a packages like $500 yeah. inclusive, like the flight and all-inclusive hotel. Thailand is further. So Thailand is more like exclusive. But for Russians, Thailand is closer uh, in that matter. So that's okay. why. But Egypt and Turkey, like Egypt in winter, also Turkey in summer, girls were going there because it's cheaper, it's vacation, and you can meet them there. And the last one, before we make a conclusion about the travel part, is Bali. It's like strikers. <laughs> it's like yoga girls. If you're into yoga girls. If you girls, like yoga girls. Now, this sounds appealing. I could make a whole <laughs> other video about these yoga chicks. But this sounds appealing. Uh, yoga chicks, they're fit, they always look good, you know. They're, they're, until they're, you start talking to them. Until you start speaking to them. And if they're going to Ubud in Bali, <laughs> of any ones, these women are on a whole other different planet. And you just can't, unless you're already on that planet yeah. and you're wearing pants that are like baggy. <laughs> yeah, like parachute pants that have flowers on them. And, you know, you have like a necklace made out of like beads. Then you'll get on well with them. But I wouldn't recommend going to Ubud. I, I think I think avoid this one for most men. <laughs> but we're just telling you, like, you, you've been asking where to meet Ukrainian ladies. We're telling you. Yeah. The conclusion <clears throat> for the traveling part is that, like, what Stryker said makes sense. Because at the beginning, when we were discussing this, I was like, oh, yeah, traveling. But if the girl is there by herself or maybe with your girlfriend. With friends, these are yeah, friends. Yeah, with the friends. Uh, then, you know, she doesn't have a boyfriend, probably, like 50%. 55, 51% that she doesn't have Who a boyfriend. Knows? But also, like, she already on vacation, so she you don't have to pay for that. Like, she already paid for her own vac vacation, so you can meet her there. All of this, all of these <laughs> ways that we recommend you is just the ways to meet people. And I, on my opinion, like, I would definitely do that to get to know better the culture. Because in our coaching calls, in our strategy calls, we get the question sometimes, the guys who are just new, because we have, we have quite a few new subscribers, like, this last past, past month. And when they call us, they said, guys, like, good videos, you know, interesting content, but... What are so special about these Ukrainian ladies? They sometimes don't know even like why people are like willing, especially European guys. But by uh, talking to them, getting a little bit closer to the culture, eating this food, talking to people in the shop, you will understand what is so special about Ukrainians and you will consider find really like a like yeah. this lady. So maybe you will end up using a matchmaker that will certainly look just for what you're looking for. But the way to meet Ukrainians, we just gave you. Yeah, so just something to think about. Obviously, there's other places like now you can go to Germany and all, all those sorts of things, but we've kind of left the obvious ones off. Here are some ones that we've come across in the past. I like the shop one. Yeah, so the shop one's good. And you can ask for the <laughs> recipe how to make borscht, and then maybe there would be some woman who would say, let me make you borscht. 